Okay, I want to talk about a couple things with the YPG that I have just discovered. Some stuff I knew, but some stuff I discovered the hard way. So, you all know that if you have a song recorded, this is one I did the Somewhere Out There uh, recording. I've got a bunch of tracks saved. When you want to just delete one track out of a recorded song, so you have five recorded tracks, you want to just delete one, all you have to do is hold down that track until it says clear track and then hit yes. And that just deletes that track out of your song. The rest of the song is still intact. If you want to delete an entire song, it's the A and 1 at the same time. And then you get clear user number and you can clear the entire song out. Now, here's where I ran into some trouble and I didn't know about these other little things. During one of my recordings, it wasn't for somewhere out there, it was for the 80s rock one, I kept botching uh, one of the songs. I don't know why, my fingers just wouldn't do what they were supposed to do and I kept screwing up the song and I got mad. And I said, screw it! And it was in the middle of recording and I just turned it off and walked away, I needed a break. Don't do that. Because <laughs> it screws with the memory of the keyboard and yeah, you should probably know that common sense. If it's the middle of recording, it's probably a bad idea to just shut it off. It's like saving a file on your computer and just turning it off mid-save. Don't, yeah. It, uh, it caused a complete, it caused the whole track to delete. Also learned in this same event of stupidity I was having, um, if you want to clear all your user settings, all your songs, all your, uh, you know, registry songs and everything that you've got saved. When you go to turn the, uh, the keyboard on, you hold the last key when you hit power. In other words, it's off, push the key down, hit power, and it will erase all that stuff for you. The other thing you can do is hold all the last keys, including the sharps. That whole big thing. You hold all that down and turn it on. And that will clear everything. All your memory, including uh, your saved songs. If you have put any songs using a MIDI connection and put some tracks on there, that deletes everything. And the reason why I say I found that out the hard way is because upon coming back again, I messed up the song a few more times but I got some things correct, and I gave it another couple minutes, I shut it off calmly that time, learned my mistakes, but when I came back, I was like, oh, here we go, and I put my hand down like this before I turned it on, just out of like, uh, this is gonna be fun, here we go, another take, let's try to get this right this time, and I turned it on, and I erased everything on the entire keyboard, gone, nothing. You don't get to confirm, it just does it. And so, now you know how to erase stuff, and if you're in a mood like I was, don't just lean on the keyboard like an idiot, like I did, and delete everything you've ever done. So, I mean, I had a, couple, a bunch of registry things filled out, you know, sounds that I liked, and I had a couple songs I had put on here through MIDI cables, and I had like four uh, songs recorded, I had, you know, accidentally screwed up the one that I had shut it off while it was recording, but I had other stuff that was fine. And now I have nothing. Well, I had nothing, and now I've restarted to get that back. But, just, just an FYI, that's how you delete some stuff, and that's how you accidentally delete some stuff, if you touch the keyboard in these top areas while turning it on. So be careful on that.